Baker's Tank. It's on the Boreas Pass Road. Used to be called Breckenridge Pass. And then the railroad came. They built a station house at the summit. 11,493 feet, more or less. Now the railroad and the station house are abandoned. Come join us for a trip through history in Colorado's spectacular backcountry. In the 1860s, then Brickenridge Pass was an easy route from an area called South Park all the way over to the Blue Valley. The people who were traveling that route were mostly prospectors looking to make a fortune in gold and silver. Yes, the South Park I'm talking about is the same one you see on television. And South Park itself was modeled after a town called Fairplay. The pointy thing in front is what they call a cow catcher. And it was designed to remove anything from the tracks that was confronting the train. That includes rocks and cows. In 1882, tracks were laid by the Union Pacific Railroad. This very engine rode the rails hundreds of times, making the route from a town called Cuomo all the way to Breckenridge. This new Highline route then continued to Leadville. This is rotary number one. That's a giant snowplow on the front of that train. And that's how they cleared the tracks at altitude when the snow drifts were up around 20 feet. Now, in modern times, the first part of Boreas Pass is paved. And yes, you can camp right along the road in designated spaces. Although this is a two-wheel drive road all the way, it's a rough road, and very quickly it turns into a shelf road. The drops are fairly significant, but you sure don't notice them because the trees have grown up along the side of the road. The views are to die for. These are just incredible views. It's just a lovely trip. And when the Aspen are preparing for their winter sleep, wow, oh wow. Parts of the road are one lane only. After all, a train doesn't take much width. And so you'll have to share the road. And you'll find a lot of hikers here too. And it's also a very popular place to take Fido running. Wow. This is just incredible. Woo! The colors. And now we've come to Baker's Tank. Have you ever heard of the expression running out of steam? Well, that refers to either running out of fire to heat the water or running out of water itself. Steam engines need water. Finally, we've come to the top of Boreas Pass. There are a few sections of rail left, though almost all of the rail is gone, and a section house too. This is a view to the west, down the pass, down the Blue Valley to Breckenridge. And this is a view to the east, going down to Cuomo and the Round Table. The section house was built in 1881. It was a lodging facility for the section boss and his workers. The restored structures were open to the public in 1996. During the summer, the section house serves as a visitor center for travelers. From November to May, it provides lodging for backcountry skiers. Imagine winter at over 11,000 feet. It must have been an awesome experience. Ken's Cabin, very famous, a very, very popular place to stay in the winter.
I'll leave the rental information for either the section house or Ken's cabin in the description. Boreas is a Greek god of the north wind. Breckenridge Pass was changed to Boreas Pass by the railroad. Unfortunately, it's too late in the day to go down the other side of Boreas Pass and take a look at the Round Table and Old Train Station, which are on private property anyway. But we'll do that another time. In the meantime, we have some gorgeous scenery to see. This is such a spectacular ride at dusk. Wow. The <laughs> you see me smiling. It's not often that you get views like this. They are just phenomenal. This is Tim Painter for The Van Life, wishing you all the best. Bye-bye.